The season has finally come. It's autumn. Speaking of autumn, what do you think of? In Japan, we think autumn of art, reading, sports, and appetite. There are many delicious foods only available in autumn. The four seasons of spring, summer, autumn, and winter are distinct clearly, and there are seasonal foods in each season in Japan. The Japanese food was registered as a UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage that is capitalized by using seasonal and regional ingredients. By incorporating the seasonal into Japanese food, we could eat not only deliciously but also feed the four seasons from the meals. Recently, by using technology, many ingredients such as vegetables and fish are lined up at grocery stores all year round. However, eating seasonal ingredients could gain a lot of advantages such as healthy nutrition, strong taste, and getting in a good condition. In today's video, I'm sharing my shopping tour and top 5 seasonal ingredients which you must try in autumn. I hope that this video will help you to know what to order, what to try while staying in Japan. Plus, it's nice to know that what Japanese buy at grocery stores in our daily life. I'm now at Yoshiki Grocery Store, which has a variety of fresh seafood and processed products from all over the country. There are many things that they are not available in ordinary grocery stores. Just look at it in front of Okachimachi Station, it's so convenient to explore and shopping at Yoshike. In my channel, I'm introducing a variety of Japanese food, what locals eat, the annual hidden spots, and some items which you should get for souvenirs. If you're interested in these topics, updated information, and planning to visit Japan near future, please subscribe my channel. Wow, on weekends, a bunch of locals are here for buying seasonal fish. Let's see what they have. They're all fresh fish and seafood, so the fish lining up are different from last month. Now, let's start shopping. Yoshike is a specialized in fish and seafood products, but they also have meat, vegetable, and other processed food. This corner is only for salmon products such as salmon fillets, canned salmon, and seasoned salmon. I've already introduced this latest video. I got three of them. Yoshiki's homemade grilled and marinated salmon. I personally like this. We have a lot of Japanese radish meals, sometimes we make pickles or garnish to grill the fish. Buckwheat sprout is rich in nutrients such as vitamins, iron, routine, which is a type of polyphenol. It can be eaten about 2 to 3 days after harvest, so usually they are not available at grocery store. Pears are known as autumn fruit. The season is generally from September to November. The production area is wide from Kishu to Tohoku, and various prefectures are the production areas of Japanese beers. Cheap and high protein, tohu is a major ingredient used in a variety of Japanese dishes. Usually, we have at least 10 options of tohu at every grocery store. We choose tofu depending on dishes because they are different in taste, texture, and softness. Perilla emits a unique aroma, has been using as seasoning and garnish to sashimi for a long time. I usually eat tofu with perilla. New harvest buckwheat generally refers to the ones made from buckwheat flower harvest within 1 to 2 months. It is characterized by the most fragrant and deep taste in a year. From now on, I'm introducing top 5 ingredients you must try in autumn. Japan has been said to be the world's largest tuna consumer country. Tuna is a migratory fish that lives and swims in the ocean around the world. The season varies depending on the type and the place where it is caught. From early autumn to winter, 
Tianaka of Insanriki East Coast, is slightly at Shimogawa Port. At Tuna during the period, praise an abundant food that gives a high quality fat spreading into the meat. If you find the tuna with a wild coat, you must try it. If it is, it's showing on the food menu as a restaurant or diners. If the label is menu are written in these letters, tenmemono, which means wild coat. Plus, if they are rare tuna, which means not frozen ones, you definitely should try it. The season for delicious celery is from September to October every year. The seasonal celery has plenty of fat, and after grilled, it has a juicy and melting in your mouth. It's exceptionally delicious. I bought the biggest two celery fish that cost about $5. About 40% of them are killed around Hokkaido coast. Preferring temperature around 15 to 18 degrees, it can be cut off around Nemuro and Kushiro coast. We simply grill with the celery season with only salt. This is the best ingredient that I personally can feel out of in any seasonal ingredients. Yes, salmon raw. Each pack roughly costs $16. Most of salmon roll could be frozen, especially if you go to conveyor belt sushi or have it in different seasons. Even if it's frozen, there is a clearly difference in taste and texture between seasonal salmon roll and other than that. The seasonal non-frozen salmon roll tastes rich flavor, a bit of sweetness, and no fishy smell at all. Losing the muscles in the warm and salty water remove all the membranes. Carefully remove the membranes, blood, and thin skin. You could season with only salt, but my favorite is with soy sauce. Add soy sauce, sake, mirin, and kelp, then soak it at least one day. Just enjoy with freshly cooked white rice. Once you stop making it yourself, you will never forget its deliciousness. It tastes amazing. Since carbonized chestnuts have been excavated from the German period, chestnuts have existed in Japan since 9,000 years ago. During autumn in Japan, chestnuts are sold at grocery stores and we eat only now as sweets but also salty dishes. Today, I'm making kurigohan which is one of Japanese traditional autumn dishes. It's so easy to make it except peeling the skin. As you know, chestnuts are covered with two skins which are hot one and thin one. Thick and hard skin on the outside we call it onikawa which means demon skin because it's so hard. By soaking water, the skin becomes a little softer and easier to peel. There you go. When you finish peeling the demon skin, soak them into the hot water. Then peel the inner astringent skin as well. Boil them with low heat about 15 to 20 minutes. Check the chestnut using a bamboo skewer and if it passes smoothly, it's done. If you like a chewy texture, exchange about 20% of white rice to glutinous rice. Seasoning and depending on your preference, I personally prefer simple things with only salt, kip, and sake. The exquisite harmony of warm chestnuts and fragrant rice is so delicious and makes me feel autumn. Speaking of the taste of autumn in Japan, matsutake mushroom is one of the representative ingredients. It fascinates us because of its aroma, texture, and taste. This bag costs about 40 US dollars that's imported from abroad. If it is domestic ones, costs much more than this. 
It has a characteristic of parasiting and growing on the roots of five red pine trees, and artificial cultivation is difficult. Matsudake mushrooms do not grow at the root of any red pine tree and must meet some conditions. The reason why they cost a lot and scary ingredient. If you'd like to enjoy the charm of Matsudake directory, I recommend you to grill it simply. If you like to eat delicious Japanese food, you should have some knowledge about the Japanese ingredients in each season. I hope that you enjoy watching today's video. If you like this kind of video, please let me know with a comment below. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.